Everyone wants to create something. But what is creating? It all starts with a blank piece of paper, a blank canvas, an empty room, an empty stage. Every creation starts from nothing. You must build everything from the ground up. But what do you need to do that? Ideas, inspiration, skill, right? But where can you find it? That's not an easy task. Not at all. Some find inspiration by listening to music, watching movies, or being in nature. Everyone is different. There are some people who start something and are good at it right away. Others need years of practicing. Why is that the case? Is this what people call talent? Are they gifted with a special skill that others just don't have? Is it in their genes? Maybe. I really don't know. And I really don't care. I think there's just one major thing about creating that matters. But let's start from the beginning. And seriously, that's the hardest part. How do you create something? Just start. Don't wait for the perfect time opportunity. The perfect time is now. Take it one step at a time. Because every step counts. Start with one simple thing. It doesn't matter what it is, but the important thing is to get started. The really good ideas will follow as you go. And they will appear in the least expected moments. You must grab an idea when it hits you right in the face. I mean that. Just work on that idea. Write it down. Record a voice message to yourself. Do whatever it takes to get the most out of your first thought. Take musicians, for example. Many of them wrote their best songs in just under half an hour. So, get the most out of your ideas and start working on them. Remember that guy with the light bulbs. Um, right, Edison. You are going to fail at some point. But that's okay. I don't know anyone who hasn't. It's all part of the game. Failing is not a bad thing. Not at all. It sounds weird, but it shows you how not to do it. Now you can learn from that. Mastering a skill takes time. Do you know that saying about the master and the beginner? The difference between a master and a beginner is that the master has failed more times than the beginner has tried. The best thing that could happen to you is failure. It is the most powerful way to get better. The important part is not to give up. But where do you get the strength to hold on? You must know what your goal is. What is the thing you are trying to achieve? And most important, why are you doing it? This is not an easy question to answer. Let me be honest. There will be many ups and downs in the way. Times when you want to give up. Times when things don't make sense anymore. But there will also be times when everything just works. Times when all the hard work pays off. These are the times to enjoy. And maybe these times are the end. Why are some more successful than others? Because they are putting in more time and more work in than anybody else. That is the thing nobody else sees. The countless hours of practice and training, working late into the night, sleepless nights thinking about ideas. The sky is the limit. That's what a lot of people say. Is there a finish line? That's the good thing about it. There are always new things to learn, new things to start, new ways to get better. Every time we start all over again. The blank piece of paper, the emptiness. That's the fate of being creative. But what is the thing that drives us to do it all over again and again?